Tricky Breaks coming to you. It's been a few days since we had a video, but here we are with a hobby box of Topps Archives, round number two. I know uh, last couple of videos I did a, a hobby of Topps Archives, just to check it out. Searching for that Phil Pools uh, one out of, I think there's four cards there, so uh, you pull one of those and you get a nice little care package by Phil Hughes, aka Phil Pools, so... Um, that'd be pretty nice getting uh, a nice little Luis Robert. Uh, what is it? The uh, Bowman. Um, that'd be nice. Was it 55 Bowman? And then Bo Bichette's and all this good stuff. So here we go. Um, in my new little setup here. So it's, that's why it's been a couple of days since I've I haven't broken. I have a new area that uh, um, I'm doing my breaks in now. So. A um, few things before, as well. Actually, I'll rip this open. <clears throat> Obviously, everybody knows what's in this product. So, um, a few things about uh, what's upcoming for Tricky Sports. Very, very exciting. Also, I wanted to thank uh, uh, Jab's family for doing a nice little uh, preview of the product. A lot of good reviews some negative which you know I can I, I obviously you can't read into all those negative that negative feedback but uh, I mean I can answer some for those that have questions and I think I've seen something where like you know would you load a and this I think this was asked for anybody that you know sends a mystery box or has something broken by um, a top YouTuber would do you load those products up well personally I don't um, anything you get it's a nice whitey Ford let me lower the camera here a little bit there we go um, anything that uh, you would get hold on a second I have to adjust all right there we go um, oh. Trying to get some more space here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, anything that you would get, Big Frank, um, would be pretty much the similar to what he received. Um, sometimes a little bit better. Um, I have new products coming out, which I'm super excited about. That's a nice Kyle Lewis there. And uh, hopefully he can review that product as well. I think it's going to be a hit. It's... Uh, Two products. The first one is the Hall of Fame edition, and I haven't ironed out the details of that yet, but uh, it's going to be, so don't quote me on this, but it's going to be five packs of kind of like, vint not vintage, but pre-1989 chase, uh, chase packs, so you're chasing top rookies like... The Kirby Puckett's, Cal Ripken's, Ricky Henderson's. I said eight, 1989 because obviously it'd be nice to put a nice uh, 89 upper deck in there. Um, that'd be a nice little chase pack there. But yeah, it's uh, chase packs for Hall of Fame or about to be Hall of Fame. Uh, the reason I say that because Mark McGuire as well um, or Barry Bonds. Um, it'd be nice to... Get a nice pack and pull a rookie of one of those as well. So, um, yeah, so Hall of Fame chase packs. And then also um, we're going to have, and sorry about the dogs in the background in my new, hold on one second, let me let them out. Sorry about that. I got my office here now and. I put them in the office, but, you know, they bark with the slightest sound. If anybody has dogs, you would know. Um, so, back to what I was saying. Um, nice Tatis. So, don't quote me on this, but around five packs of vintage or pre-1989 packs for Chase rookies. And then also, we're going to put, I want to say, like, three to five cards um, pre-1970 with one of them being a Hall of Famer. So it'd be Commons, let's say, for example, um, 
There's going to be commons of 68 tops, 56, 57, 58 tops, and then uh, there could be one Hall of Famer where it's not their Hall of Fame rookie card, but it could be like a Clemente 60-something. So, um, I mean, there could be a Mantle 59 or whatnot in there. Um, it's not going to be their rookie card, but uh, Trent Grisham, he's uh, doing some work. But it's going to be a Hall of Fame player pre-1970. So I think that's a really exciting product. There will be potential chase cards, obviously, um, which I'll post that as well. Um, maybe a nice mantle or a Ted Williams card there. And so that's the first product, the Hall of Fame edition, and haven't set a price point on that. It's probably going to be pricier than my subscription box baseball, um, just for the fact that the price of the box, the I've noticed the wax boxes have gone extremely up in price. So uh, The next product is the premium version of the subscription box. Um, it's going to be pretty much the same the only difference is there's gonna be three autos which the autos could range from average to high end um, and then there's gonna be better packs so I would say there's five packs I would say out of the five packs there's gonna be three to four hobby packs and hobby packs meaning um, Bowman draft Bowman um, I think there's some 18 update, but that might be retail. Um, I know I like the 18 product a lot, so we have a few packs of those. I think Series 2, 19. Um, so lots of good stuff coming from that. I think we're going to have some Topps Chrome as well. So packs that, you know, you don't always see all the time, and there's some nice chase cards in those as well. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, it's. I'm hoping next few weeks I can uh, have that product released, and hopefully you can start seeing it by some of the YouTubers uh, previewing it. And then obviously you can get it off my website or eBay. Which oh look at that, Bob Walk again. I think we pulled Bob Walk in the uh, in the first in the first box that we uh, opened. I think Vern Law was the other guy. So, wouldn't that be some stuff if uh, we pulled a walk and a law again? Alright. I'm not going to open all these packs until I hit the second auto, just for the fact that uh, save on time. The purpose of this video was to talk about my new product coming out. And then, obviously, I had this extra hobby box. So, I figured I would uh, open it up. I got a case of this archives, so lots of these boxes, and also it's always cool to chase the uh, the Phil Pools auto case. You might be the lucky one to get that one. I haven't had an opportunity to get any blasters or megas of this product yet. Um, I mean, I think the flippers are just grabbing everything they could I think I saw that uh, oh I was curious on this so I was at Target the other day and I saw Chronicles racing and I didn't get any because obviously I don't know that much about racing and um, I was like let me look this up so there's people selling Chronicles racing blasters for mm, Five to ten dollars more than you would buy in the store, so that's how desperate they're getting their uh, flipping it for just a couple of bucks. A lot of time and effort for that. Johnny Bench. Speaking of Johnny, he may be in the Hall of Fame edition. You may see a lot of these cards too in the Hall of Fame edition, so that's another reason why I want to kind of open this. So, you know, show you what you could potentially get, how the cards look, and. I know for sure we have, what is this, uh, 85 Donruss. That's going to be in the 
in some of the packs. Logan Allen, Jordan Alvarez. That's a good one. Sleeve that up. Uh, probably not going to see this guy. That would be like the ultimate chase card. And then the, the box, the subscript, the Hall of Fame edition boxes would probably have to be outrageous. But you never know. You might get lucky one day and open one of my boxes, Hall of Fame ones. And well, you're not going to see any like high end thousand dollar ones, but I might be able to get my hands on a, a Babe Ruth card. Billy Williams, possibly. Morjan, Yelich, Bauer. There's a Baez out of 99. It's the first numbered card I've seen. All right. But yeah, comment down below and let me know what uh, thoughts and ideas on. You might see some of these cards. Um, thoughts and ideas of those boxes. Um, I'm always, you know, open to some ideas of potential product. I mean, that'd be awesome. So yeah, do that. Comment down below and let me know what product you would like to see in a Hall of Fame subscription box, like the packs. So what packs would be awesome to uh, get you guys excited to open up stuff that you don't see normally every day and potential big, huge chase cards. Um, I already have that for my basketball subscription box. We got new product that came in, so um, it's actually going to be the the NBA one. We're opening baseball, but the NBA one's fantastic. Um, there's a lot of you know Russell Westbrook chase cards, Steph Curry, Giannis, um, obviously 1920 product and just good stuff like that. So I kind of want to make something similar to that in the baseball aspect um whether that be the premium edition or the uh hall of fame edition so i'm trying to you know if you get some packs to pull his rookie card that'd be nice <clears throat> dustin may bob feller might be able to see him in there as one of the hall of fame cards Ramirez, McMahon, Abreu, Anderson. There's the polar bear. Hopefully we have another auto in this product. Four packs left. Yu Chang, rookie. I'll keep that because I like him. Oh, could be... Coming up here, it is coming up here. It is a Atlanta Brave. It is Raphael Furk Hall, Sky Blue. Sky Blue is numbered 8 of 25. Not bad. I mean, he wasn't the best Atlanta Brave player, but he was there for their success. Nice little number card there. So, yeah, open a few more up here. So, yeah, just uh, wanted to review that. Check these cards out again. Um, I'll open one more pack, and then we'll call her a... So, yeah, just wanted to talk about... Uh, um, you know, I'll just open both these. Um, just wanted to talk about the new products out and open some of these cards and take a look to see, you know, if we get a nice little auto here. Let me know what you think about this archive product. I know there's a lot. It's kind of like the product where you get a lot of like low end autos, but then you could have an opportunity to hit a nice big auto. I haven't seen any, uh, just one Kyle Lewis and no Robert, so... Yeah, comment. Uh, please subscribe, like down, like uh, the video, and might be able to see this guy. That'd be a nice uh, 
chase card to do. Um, click the notification button so when I come out with the video, you can uh, get to watch that right away. And, and let me know when we talk about the Premium Edition box and the Hall of Fame Edition box. Let me know your thoughts, ideas, questions, concerns, and whatnot. And then we can go from there. I'm always there to listen. So still developing the boxes. So it's going to pro probably be another week and a half. But, uh, yeah, excited about that. And uh, we'll come out with another... Uh, product here pretty soon. All right. Have a good day. Peace.